Sean, how was the move of the team after last Saturday? Have you guys talked about it at all? Oh, yeah, we talked about it. Uh, you know, we faced the facts, exactly what had happened, what's uh, been going on, and what we got to do to move forward. Our mood of our football team is very good, if you can imagine that to happen. Uh, we had a spirited practice last night. Uh, we took the team to the Tiger Burn. Uh, we told them we were going to enjoy this week. We were going to enjoy this week. And our team responded. Uh, they actually wanted to talk themselves and, and get a few things off their chest to each other. We allowed them to, to do that. It wasn't some private players meeting or anything like that, but they just wanted to say some things. And uh, when it came out of that meeting, uh, you know, you can kind of look at an individual and tell if they got it or not. And I think everyone got it. Uh, is it important to you, like maybe every day, just kind of check their temperature, see where they are, and make sure that they're at the level they need to be every day leading up to a Saturday? You know, it's always important. And, and you know, you can certainly check their temperature. Uh, as you said, uh, they understand what's at stake. I mean, they really do. Um, last week, there would be the courtesies, kind of feel it uh, coming into yesterday's team meeting. You, you saw a little different look, and, and, and that doesn't always result in you know, positive play or missed assignments or playing hard. But uh, you know, there, there was more of a focused look and energy into what we had to prepare for this week in the number one team in the nation, Clemson. Uh, and, and the mentality seemed, seemed to be right on point yesterday. Now, Tuesday's a different day. And so we'll have to go out and, of course, uh, check their temperature again. Do you still feel like you have a shot at this job beyond this week? And when do you expect to talk to Ray Cannon about that? You know, I don't know about uh, still having a shot. I'm going to still approach it like I have a shot. And in the back of my mind, I'm going to tell myself until they tell me at the very end, I don't. Uh, I'm, not a, I'm not a guy that gives up or quits. Uh, like someone uh, had posted the other night, I, I'm certainly not that guy. So they're going to they're gonna have to kick me out of here uh, and tell me I didn't get it or I've been reassigned or I've got to do something else before I just give up on anything. Does this Clemson team do anything different from past out differently from past outfits or is it just they do kind of the same things but a bit better? Uh, they're very similar to uh, what they've seen in the past, you know. Uh, <clears throat> defensively, I think players make them, make them what they are. You know, they've got great skill players. Uh, they've got a heck of a defensive coordinator, and he's, he's established a great defensive team over there. Their quarterback, of course, he's up for the Heisman. You know, we got a walk-on quarterback player for us, and we're going up against the Heisman Trophy winner. So, uh, but, you know, when I say that, I'm not, I'm not down a pair, of course, but, I mean, look what they got. Uh, no, nah, they're, they're, they're a fine football team, and uh, we're going to have to go up there and play, play very well. You've probably touched on it before, but I'm wondering if you can sum up what the Carolina Clemson rivalry means to you personally, and did you ever see yourself as the head coach of the Gamecocks in the season? Oh, what does it mean to me personally? Well, you know, when, when you grow up a fan of one, uh, whether Carolina or Clemson, uh, certainly you have a lot of stake because I've got a lot of great friends. I mean, my very best friend's a Clemson fan, and we, he rags me all the time. We've uh, Ever since we've been small, Kids running around the backyard playing in the houses, Carolina Clemson game, listening to on the radio. We'll go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's just fun. It, it's, it's really it's a great competitive rivalry. Uh, I love it. Uh, you know, any rivalry, it doesn't matter what uh, team you're involved in, just the spirit of it, to see what, what it brings out in people. I love it, watching other people. I mean, the social media aspect, now that it's gotten to that, it's really, really fun. I've gotten some great messages, and let me tell you, I wish I could share them with you. Y'all could write a lot of stories on those, but uh, I just think the spirit of people, you know, some good and some bad. Uh, I've gotten more good than a lot of bad this week, but uh, some people can be pretty bitter about this rivalry, which is good. Did you see yourself coaching it? I always saw myself playing in it. I always saw myself playing in it. You know, uh, that's, that's what you do when you grow up as a fan. You, you want to be that guy. You want to be that, whether you're an offensive or defensive player, whether you're a Clemson fan or a South Carolina fan. You want to be that guy playing it, making that touchdown, catch, tackle, throw, uh, you name it. You always picture yourself doing that. Rick? Sean, just want to follow up on this rivalry and social media. Can you share with us the best USC Clemson joke you've ever heard? No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't do that. <laughs>